Hey everyone, we've got a, another Bible review. I've been looking forward to this Bible since I heard they were going to be producing this Bible. Uh, this is the ESV Heirloom Study Bible. Now, they've produced the ESV Study Bible since its publication in 2008. And they've done edge-lined leather Bibles uh, since that time, whether it were whether it was a Abba bound uh, calf skin, they had cowhide, uh, but they have yet until now to produce a study Bible on par with their heirloom series. Uh, their heirloom series consists of the heirloom thin line, the heirloom uh, Omega, the heirloom legacy, and the heirloom wide margin. Uh, also, uh, they just they just haven't produced a study Bible at that level, uh, at least of the uh, with the cover, a nice goat skin and, and whatnot. So, this Bible was sent to me from the nice people at Crossway uh, to review, and it is without a doubt uh, my favorite Crossway Bible, at least in the last fifteen years. Um, this is the best thing that they've produced in the last 15 years and I'll show you all about it, uh, right now. So, uh, I'm going to do this review and, uh, then I'm going to do an, a separate video, uh, where I compare the previous cowhide edition with this heirloom edition. So, uh, some of the things I'm going to talk about, you'll actually see compared in the next video posted. So, uh, if, if you're looking at purchasing one of these these retail for $375 right now and uh, they're actually on sale as I guess a promotional um, promotional price uh, for $225 so it's and it, they're worth every penny of $225 so um, they're, they're really really the nicest Bible I've ever had from Crossway uh, that is um, in the uh, the last 15 years at least um so let's talk about this thing first it comes in this uh beautiful open close uh two-piece box you see the esv study bible uh the the heirloom study bible and black goat skin now these are also going to come in a brown and a uh blue i believe brown and a blue uh goat skin and uh and inside they're wrapped in this uh, velvet material and uh, there is a there's a letter inside uh, talking about this is the 80th anniversary uh, which is fitting because the cover is very very similar to the 80th anniversary Omega uh, and I'll show that to you in the next video when I compare but uh, you'll just have to take my word for it unless you check out that other video so uh, anyway so that's uh, saying that to commemorate their 80th anniversary, they wanted to do an heirloom study Bible. So I, I don't know if this is going to be a a, uh, a production every year, you know, like they do the uh, Omegas and uh, other uh, Bibles like that, or if this is just a one-off uh, where they're going to only do for the 80th anniversary the, the heirloom study Bibles. Anyway, all right, so the cover is this amazing... Uh, natural grain goat skin and it's a and if you have the 80th anniversary omega uh, you know that i love love it it has got such a soft floppy 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 cover same cover as the 80th anniversary omega uh, the stamping on the spine is just excellent uh, they they did a more simplistic uh, spine um, it's just really really nice uh, it's it's a little simpler than the older study Bible where it had the larger letters ESV running down the spine. Um, that's really the only big difference. You have the ESV symbol instead of the, the big letters ESV uh, there. Also, this spine is reinforced, like big time reinforced. And I'll show you why that's so important uh, when I do the comparison with the previous uh, cowhide edition so anyway so the cover is excellent you have your raised ribs which are great a lot more definition on these you have your perimeter stitching around the edges uh, you have your uh, it has a, a, a small yap 
it's not no yap but it's a it's a small yap about the same as previous editions um and it is just like butter i mean it is so nice uh it is just it's hard to talk about without stuttering uh so uh anyway this the liner on the inside you have your your interior gilt line just like your other heirloom editions it's just really nice this liner is so spongy it's just so nice i mean it's just some of the best leather i've ever felt you can see this large tab on a larger bible a thicker bible you're going to have that large tab uh so it's it's firmly secured into the the blocks firmly secured into the uh the cover uh it's really 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 strong and i'll show you uh the the, the spine of the block is reinforced and the spine of the um, the cover is reinforced. So there's there's a double reinforcement there. And that was a huge problem with the previous editions. Uh, so um, also for Beresford 10 millimeter ribbons. Oh my goodness, it's so awesome. I still they still have the uh, the crease in them where they were folded in. I'll iron those flat. They're not too terribly long. I could have uh, I could have stood them to be just a smidge longer, but I'm just so excited that we actually have Beresford ribbons in a crossway Bible. I mean, it's that's uh, the, I think the only thing that they really uh, where they only really short themselves uh, is is the ribbons. Uh, some of the the uh, more uh, like Allen and Schuyler, the they set themselves apart by using uh, extremely nice ribbons. And it's not a huge expense. I'm just glad to see Crossway did that with uh, this edition. So we uh, open it up. You've got your uh, cardstock pages. Uh, something that I want to show you right after we get through this. Uh, you have a presentation page and uh, kind of your your uh, legacy stuff. Your uh, marriages, births, adoptions, all that stuff. Deaths. And now you get to your title page. And, and one of the biggest reasons I was so excited about this Bible uh, was, is right here. It's uh, printed in Italy uh, by a company called Lego. And if you're halfway paying attention and you and you love Bibles and you're kind of up on Bible reviews and, and what's been really nice, well, Lego in Italy uh, produces their own paper and they have some of the finest paper and printing in the world. And uh, the ESV Study Bible is no exception. Uh, you can see there the it's a 2016 text, which is really cool. Um, you have the newer text with the Italian uh, paper and printing. Uh, this is bound by young blood in the Netherlands, so you have a Bible printed uh, by uh, by Lego, bound by young blood. It's the the finest of the finest uh, here. Um, also your, your art gilding is flawless. It's that beautiful, uh, salmon colored art gilding. The, uh, the gold gilding is, is impeccable, beautiful. The signatures are all beautifully placed. There's, there's no, uh, out of place signature. There's no jutting out. The, the block is, is done, uh, incredibly well. So the uh when we get into the bible uh you have your introduction to the esv study bible which talks about all of the incredible resources inside you have your contributors you have a lot of contributors your preface to the esv and then you get into the text all right so um you have an entry to different sections like this entry to the uh the theology of the Old Testament. Uh, you talk about several different things. Uh, all these are indexed in the back and, and uh, in the contents in front. So now when you get to Genesis, you have a long uh, uh, introduction to the uh, to Genesis. I think it's several pages long. Uh, this is common, the same exact layout, and it's the same page for page uh, layout as uh, the it's the, still the same 2008 ESV study Bible. So it's the same content, same layout, page for page. So if you know on page 
uh, you know, 490. Uh, it's the same exact page. It's the same exact thing on uh, in this Bible. Exact same page. So uh, there are a few differences in uh, in the uh, aesthetics. Okay, so and I'll show this in the uh, in the comparison review. Uh, but there are uh, the font is different up here. There's no line dividing the references and uh, the text. Um, the all the notes are the same. It's the same single column, nine point font. Great reader. Uh, it's just, and it's the same uh, references and everything. You just have a few aesthetic features. Um, there's about. It might be a, a hair less ghosting in the Lego printing, okay? Uh, so the, the paper is a 31 GSM paper, and it's great. Uh, but any, you're going to have so... It's going to be such a thin paper. You're going to have some ghosting. There's just no way around it. Um, but it might be just a smidge less, just a smidge less than the previous editions. But what I like about the Lego printing is that the, the printing is so crisp and the paper is their paper and it is it feels so much nicer also there's no crinkle in the gutter no crinkle at all okay so you hear you hear that turn that was just a page uh but you turn a page and it's smooth and you run your finger down the gutter it's smooth no crinkle you won't find that in the other editions of the esv study bible you'll have some crinkle and these, the, the paper is just flawless. It's just amazing paper. And the printing is about the same darkness. It's just crisper. It seems a little bit crisper in this Lego printing than in the previous printings. Uh, so, uh, as far as the content inside this Bible, uh, there, there, are, there are so many resources that this review would turn into a 30 minute review so best thing you could do is probably go to my uh, previous review because it's the same exact content uh, where I, I did a, the, a review of the deep brown cowhide uh, and and I'll be able to go through in a lot more depth the content of the ESV study Bible uh, so one negative that I don't know why we continue to have this uh, the the map section which uh, is just kind of a pet peeve for me. It might not be like this for everybody, but the map section is a glossy cardstock, which will eventually get wrinkled and and it just won't. It doesn't feel as nice. Um, where I really would like a thicker Bible paper or a matte cardstock. Um, it's just the the maps are excellent. The crossway maps are are really great. Um, just not a fan of the glossy cardstock. I would even prefer to have, you know, five or ten pages of lined paper. Also, the thing's already pretty big. Or make these cardstock pages lined paper. Uh, that's about the only real, uh, real changes I would even consider making on this edition. I'm just so thankful to our friends at Crossway for, uh, for going ahead and making an heirloom study Bible and uh, using the nicer ribbons and and this amazing cover and you can see there the goat skin leather they're stamped in this awesome uh, awesome liner and the, the, the back cover it's it's just so floppy now I'm gonna do the hand test I want to show you how uh, this spine flexes because one of the biggest parts about this Bible is is its uh, is its strength in the spine? So I'm gonna pull it about to the middle, and I'm just gonna hold it up right with my my hand on the spine, and you can see this. Well, one the tabs hold it out a little bit, but the spine is laying flat. If you do this with one of your other uh, cowhide ESV study Bibles, that spine is gonna split right in two and fold over back on itself. Uh, now that's not the worst thing ever. But it's not going to help your the sewing survive for generations like you want it to, especially on a $375 Bible. So, um, again, 
I'm going to do a, a review, a comparison review with the uh, previous editions, or at least one of the previous editions of the ESV Study Bible in the cowhide. And I'll show you some of the differences in the text and the differences in the paper, the differences in the sewing, the differences in the spine reinforcement. It's, it's pretty... It's pretty dramatic differences. Also, you know, of course, the the much finer ribbons, thicker ribbons, uh, four of them, which is nice. It goes along with the color scheme that they typically use with the uh, the Omega and the uh, Legacy and the the wide margin, where they have the four these color ribbons. Uh, yet they're uh, thinner, of course, but uh, they have these four ribbons. So it's it's really nice. It is it is the king of the hill. Where the Omega was once king of the hill uh, in ESV heirloom series, this is now the absolute king of the hill. So uh, it's amazing, 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 and I would recommend it. If you're a fan of the ESV study Bible, which basically means if you read your Bible and you study it, uh, you will love the ESV study Bible for its resources and it's, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just so much. There's so much there to learn from. And it's, uh, it's definitely the best study Bible ever made. And now it's the one of the finest bound study Bibles with some of the best paper, the best cover. This might be the best study Bible ever made. And, um, and that includes the Allen editions that are the smaller editions. Uh, this is, without a doubt, in my mind, the best Bible uh, ESV study Bible ever produced. So uh, anyway... We're pushing this uh, this initial review a little long. Um, again, if you have any questions about the content, please search ESV Study Bible in Deep Brown Go uh, Deep Brown Cowhide, and I have a review where I go through all the content. I also have a hardback ESV Study Bible review where I go through all the content. So there's just so much more to show as far as the cover and the aesthetics and the paper and all those things that I just would run out of time or it would be just incredibly long. So uh, check those out if you want to see them. Also, tune in and uh, see the re the uh, comparison. I'm going to show you the size comparison with the Omega and how the covers are the same and, uh, and very nicely done. Also, I'm going to include the comparison with the previous uh, Cowhide editions of the ESV Study Bible. So uh, just stay tuned and, and uh, be sure that you're subscribing. And uh, again, thank you, Crossway, for supplying this edition for review. Y'all go buy it. I'm telling you, you will not not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed in this Bible. It is the finest ESV study Bible ever made. God bless.